Quinoa is a superfood. So what? So what if quinoa is a superfood? Those of you who are new to my channel or are not familiar with what I do and jump to the wrong conclusion that I, being a medical doctor, do not believe in the power of healthy eating habits. That cannot be further from the truth. Let me show you a short clip from a video interview I did for a Singapore online newspaper. Eating better for health can be enjoyable too. One of the things that I try to do is to entice people by creating old favourites like fried rice, like nasi lemak, but using new and better ingredients. I try to use a whole grain and using things like quinoa. So instead of like nasi lemak, it became a quinoa lemak. So you can see, I do encourage people to choose healthier ingredients. And I am a fan of quinoa. I put so many different quinoa dishes in my restaurant. I have quinoa fried rice, quinoa lemak. So why do I discourage people from seeing quinoa as a superfood? Because as much as I agree that quinoa is a nutrient packed powerhouse, I am concerned whenever people tell me that they know or see quinoa as a superfood. Because from my work as a doctor and a trainer, focus on coaching people in lifestyle and dietary modification to combat chronic diseases, I've come across many such people. People who see quinoa as a superfood and the mistakes that they make with regards to their diet because of how they see quinoa as a superfood. Let me share three common mistakes people who see quinoa as a superfood make. Mistake number one. Seeing quinoa as a nutrient booster shot. Having quinoa on the occasional visits to a healthy food focused restaurant is not going to do much good for a person whose regular diet is nutrient poor. When I was still operating my restaurant, I had many regular customers who would come for the many quinoa dishes I had on my menu. And many of them would share with me that they made it a point to come to my restaurant for my quinoa dishes at least once or twice a week to eat more nutritious foods such as quinoa because their diets for the rest of the week are nutrient poor. And I would always tell them that my purpose of putting so many quinoa dishes on my menu was not for them to be used as occasional nutrient booster shots. For people who are eating a nutrient poor diet the rest of the week, the second mistake that I find people who see quinoa as a superfood often make is this that because they see quinoa as this super nutritious, super antioxidant superfood, they wrongly think that anything with quinoa inside must also therefore be healthy, regardless of what else are in that food. Nowadays, as the reputation of quinoa as a superfood grows, we are seeing more and more food products, including snacks such as chips, cookies and biscuits with quinoa included as one of the ingredients often shouting on their packaging that they have quinoa inside, as if having this superfood quinoa as one of the ingredients would make the high amounts of sugar or any other unhealthy ingredients in them disappear. The third mistake that I find people who see quinoa as a superfood make is this, that they wrongly think that simply by incorporating quinoa, a so-called superfood into their diets, that will be enough to mitigate the many other obviously unhealthy aspects of their diets or make up for an obviously nutrient-poor dietary habit. For example, many of my patients who come to see me at my clinic for training and coaching to help them change their diets to better control their chronic conditions such as diabetes, would often tell me, Doctor, my diet now is already very healthy. I have started taking quinoa regularly instead of the white rice that I used to have as my staple food. But yet, when I review the diets in detail, I would often see that other than having quinoa a bit more regularly in their diets, they are still eating very badly. They seeing quinoa as some kind of superfood seem to think that quinoa has some kind of almost mythical or magical superpowers to erase the many and very obviously unhealthy aspects of the diets. I would rather that they focus on reviewing all aspects of the diets, identify the key problematic areas or the areas that had obvious room for improvement in terms of how these eating habits affect their diabetes, hypertension, or whatever other lifestyle-related chronic conditions that they had hoped to better control, hoped to more optimally combat by modifying their diets, for which they have come to see me for help for. So, 
These are the three common mistakes I see people make when it comes to quinoa, especially amongst people who see quinoa as a superfood. Firstly, if one's diet is obviously nutrient poor, taking some quinoa every now and then cannot be seen as an adequate nutrient booster shot. Secondly, foods that are obviously unhealthy would remain unhealthy no matter how much quinoa you add into it. So whenever you go to the supermarkets, do not be distracted by the healthy halo, by the many quinoa inside labels on the packaging of food products. You should not just focus on looking out for quinoa in the ingredient listing in the foods you buy. You should be looking at all the other ingredients in the food, especially for sugar and other obviously unhealthy ingredients. We should not let obviously unhealthy ingredients in foods to surreptitiously slip into our diets by riding on the coattails of healthy ingredients such as quinoa that happens to be also in the same foods. Lastly, in order to adequately and optimally combat lifestyle-related chronic diseases, it is never enough to just tackle, add, or change only one single aspect of your diet, such as replacing an unhealthy staple or less nutritious staple with a nutrient-packed one like quinoa. If you're serious about wanting to improve your health, or better control any lifestyle-related medical conditions you may have, you need to review, identify any and all aspects of your diet that are affecting your health and which obviously needed changing or improving. Quinoa may be a nutritional powerhouse, but instead of seeing it as some kind of superfood, can I suggest that we see quinoa as it is? A very good healthy nutrient pack option that deserves a regular and prominent place in our pantries. So instead of focusing on and chasing after individual foods or ingredients such as superfoods, I am suggesting that we focus on building and maintaining a super pantry, a virtual pantry full of a variety of health promoting ingredients and spices that we want to see in our foods that we eat most of the time, regardless of whether we are cooking at home or eating out. Let habits be thy medicine instead of chasing after superfoods. Let's learn to build a super pantry from which we will draw from to support our super habits, super eating habits that will help us prevent and combat chronic diseases. I am Dr. Chan. Take care.